Hello, my name is Dimitri Betts and welcome to Dimitri Talk. If you had a year last year of depression and you had a year of last year of failure or feeling bad about yourself, we do not want to duplicate that this year. We're going to let the past stay in the past. We're going to let the past stay in the past because that's past. You understand? So I'm going to give you some little tips and some little clues of how you will have a very great successful year, uh -uh, successful life starting now. The first thing um, is family. A lot of, oh, this is a big one. A lot of people have so many problems with their family. That if they'll go to their family members, they'll go to their parents or so, they feel beaten up or beaten down by when they leave and, or it's at home, there's nothing going on there. This is, when you think of pain, you think of someone in your family who hurt you. If you're living in your family situation, if you're actually living at home where there's family chaos there, there's, I can't give you much, um, advice on that one, but just, you know, do your best to be polite because you are living under their roof to respect them and then get the crap out of there as soon as you can. <laughs> as soon as you're old enough, you out the door because nobody, you don't let anybody take your joy. So the, my clue for you is this year is these people that you can, family members that you can cut out your life right now who are taking away your happiness and your joy, cut them out your life and you wouldn't love say listen right now i need to work on me maybe i can have a relationship again with you in a few years i love you always my family member but right now i need to focus on what i need to take care of so that i can be happy so maybe it's your father maybe it's your mother so if there's family members you need to stop or to sit back for a while or to say you know just not right now because i need to be happy then do it because nothing is worth your happiness. Nothing is worth your joy, even if it's your mama or your daddy or your brother or your sister or your cousin or your granny or whoever in your family. Now you take care of you. It's time for you to have a successful, happy life. So that's my little tips to give you about family. And then we have friends. Oh, that's a great one. Friends. We always have, I talked before, before um, in a video about three circles of friends. You have the the outer circle, then you have the middle circle, and then you have the, the, the first circle. And the outer circle um, are usually people who are just like, they're not really friends, but maybe you go to, to the movies with them. The inner circle are probably maybe people who you have dinner with. And then the first circle is a friend that knows everything about you and you can trust. And I always said, do not let the outer circle be the inner circle unless they deserve it. So do not let people close to your heart, close to you, unless they deserve it. Do not give people a chance to be so close to you where they can break your heart, ruin your reputation, and destroy you when they have not deserved to be so close to you. Just don't give it to everybody. Don't give it out like it's a gift. Oh, take my heart. Hey, you want to take it, take it. It's free. Come get what you want. Eat all you want. Eat it out. Drop a step on. No. Let people earn being close to you. And when they have, then you trust them. Don't make a don't make a, a, a leaf a tree. We talked about this before. A leaf is a leaf and a tree is a tree. Don't confuse the two. Work and or school. Um if you cannot leave your work or school, then you do the best you can there. The way you'll be um, happy there is by achieving your goals. That you do the best you absolutely can. Even if it's clean toilets, you clean it like it ain't never been cleaned before. You know, if it's grades, doing the best you can until you can get to a new school or get out of school and, or, or have a new job. Some people, a lot of people I know, write me, are depressed about school. Oh, I'm so depressed. Oh, everybody at school gives me a hard time. Oh, I'm so depressed. I know it sucks. Trust me, I know it sucks. But guess what? You won't be in school forever. So stop acting like it. So stop acting like you're going to be, oh, I'm so depressed. Call the school. Call. School's only for a few years. You have the rest of your life. So just shut up about that and get over it. Because everybody has had t times in school they didn't like everybody. And guess what? Most everybody, and a, a big most, has survived that. So you will survive it too. So even though you may hurt in school now, no, it's only for now. School doesn't last forever. And the last point is God or self-reflection. As you know, I am Christian and I believe in God. And God is the one who has changed my life and gave me a new direction in life. And because of him, I do self-evaluation. I look at myself and I see in myself what I want to change. There's some things that I'm going to definitely change this year um, that were struggles last year. And I want to have victory, 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 victory over it this year. And I want you to have victory on the many things you need to have victory over in your life this year too. If you do not believe in God, 
you still can do self self evaluation. You still can evaluate yourself and see the things that you need to change every day. Evaluate yourself. What if you do? To, you know, before you go to bed at night, look at your day and say, "What have I done? How has how have I affected the world? How has the world affected me? How have I affected people? How have few people affected me?" And before you go to sleep, you think about that. And if you made changes and you did good that day, give yourself a hand clap. Hand. And if you have it, you start the next, start again the next day, again the next day, and accomplish your goals. So these are just, you know, four little, four little um, things that I know that if you really will follow them, that you will have a much more successful year than you had last year. And I know if you really follow them, that you will be much, much happier. And don't we all want to be happy? So let's, let's just, you can meditate, but I want to talk to God right now. And so here we go. So God, I thank you for everyone here. And if they believe in you or they don't, I thank you for their life. And I thank you for the successful year they're gonna have. And I thank you for the successful life they're gonna have because of the changes they're gonna make. And I, I, just pray, I pray, God, that you bring people into their life who will be good for them, not bad for them. People who will help bring them up, not pull them down. People who stand by their side and walk with them um, during this year and this new part of their life. So I think we're ahead of time, God, for what you're gonna do. All right, guys. That was it. Uh, Dimitri Talk, I will talk to you again soon. Love you. Mwah.